would say that the vision of Joy Ranch is to help families in crisis. We've all been at a place where we needed a hand, and so that's kind of what we do here. Our role at Joy Ranch uh, is house parents of the girls' cottage. Uh, people ask what a house parent is. Our job is to take care of our young ladies every single day, just like you would at home, take care of your kids. That means taking them to appointments, helping them with homework, taking them to practice, taking them to work, raising these kids just like they're our own kids. So as a house parent at Joy Ranch, you are parenting the children. Right now we have seven girls, ages seven to 16. The heartbeat of Joy Ranch is to, uh, to rescue kids out of crisis. Uh, there's so many kids in crisis nowadays, whether here in Woodlawn, Virginia, or in Baltimore, Maryland, it doesn't matter where it is, there are kids in crisis. And we're trying to, to rescue kids that are in crisis and set them on the right path and, and let them understand what Jesus is and to learn who Jesus is. The kids learn about Jesus uh, many ways at Joy Ranch. Uh, each evening we do a devotional with the kids. Um, as well, they go to youth group, they go to regular church, they go to kids church. Uh, we pray with them in the evenings that they want to be prayed with. They uh, talk to us about what's going on in their life so we can, so we know how to hold them up in prayer. Um, the way the kids uh, learn about Jesus is through just our everyday example and through devotions, church attendance, youth group, summer camps, and things like that. Discipleship means even when uh, a resident leaves Joy Ranch, you continue to stay in contact with them. Uh, there was a family that was with us for a while and they, they left us because they were, they were placed here. But they left and they still called us and still and we still called them and kept in contact with them. It came to the place for these teenagers. They called and said, could you bring us some fresh fruit, fruit and vegetables? We haven't had any in our house in days. And even though they didn't live here, it doesn't matter. They're our kids forever. We stay in contact with them forever. Uh, so we took them the fruit and the vegetables that they called for. We actually dropped what, everything that was going on and within a half an hour we had them stuff because we need to train them up continually, not just when they're here, but for a lifetime. I think for discipleship it's important to teach the kids that whether they're still with us, no matter where they are, who they're with, or what's going on, they're never alone. God is always with them. People can get involved and help Joy Ranch in, in many ways. Uh, we appreciate anybody who says, hey, I want to pray for Joy Ranch daily, or I want my church to pray for them. Or you can say, hey, God has blessed me financially, and I really want to, want to be able to turn over and, and bless the ministry. Guess what? We'll receive it. We're not going to tell you no. Also, if you're in the area, or you're on a trip, or you like, would like to see the Blue Ridge, guess what? We'll, we'll use you. We'll let you volunteer. Just let us know. I think one way to help Joy Ranch is just with simple everyday things that people don't always think of. When you have up to 16 children, you need a lot of dishwasher pods, laundry pods, things that you use every day, cereal, peanut butter, stuff like that. At Joy Ranch, there's always a need uh, financially. If anybody ever feels like they want to give, we can always use a new van. We can always use volunteers. If, you, if your gift is maybe art or your gift is, hey, I'm really good at math, guess what? You get past algebra two, forget about it. I need you to help. <laughs> I think for volunteer opportunities, uh, really anything that anyone can do is helpful. Um, cooking meals, helping kids with homework, painting houses, any, anything that you can do is always a help out. We do what we do at Joy Ranch for many reasons. Number one, God has called us to impact kids' lives. Uh, for over 20 years, I've been working with kids, and that's something that God has called me to do. And when you can see a life turn around, it's worth it. 
for me, I know even when we were youth pastors, any involvement with kids is, even though I grew up in a great home with great parents in a Christian family, I was still a very angry kid. Um, and it caused a lot of things that I dealt with even in, as an adult. And there were times, even though I wasn't as a teenager, I still felt very alone. And I always wanted to make sure that no one had to grow up feeling the way I felt. The final uh, thing I'll share is you, you never know when you're going to impact the kid's life. It could be as easy as being a teacher, impacting the kid's life, or being a bus driver, being a pastor, being a, a prayer warrior. You can impact the kid's life at any moment. You don't know when it's going to happen, but it could happen today in the kid's life. I think it's just important to know that the little things really make a difference. We've talked to kids who are no longer with us and asked them like, what's their favorite memory or what they remember most. And I remember one little girl who had come to us in the middle of the night out of a, a terrible situation and her favorite memory from Joy Ranch was the Easter egg hunt. Just the simple things that we think aren't really a big deal or it's something that everybody does, that isn't always true. One uh, last thought is that you can impact kids anytime. Uh, one easy example, a kid came at about midnight and he's been gone for a couple years now. And we said, what, what do you remember when you came to Joy Ranch? What is your memory? And he said, when I arrived, you had orange juice and orange juice makes me feel comfortable. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.